Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn credentials and lockers in Automation Anywhere A2019 and A11. So let's get started by looking into the issues faced while not using credentials. So every project has some sensitive data such as user credentials, account numbers, etc. And it's really not a good practice to store such data in bots or on bot runner systems using variables or hard coded values. Why? To avoid credential fraud, to enable improved security and to offer automation opportunities with secure data applications. So what is the solution? So the solution is to encrypt the sensitive data and store them in credential vault, which can be achieved with the help of credentials and lockers in Automation Anywhere. So let's quickly jump into the Automation Anywhere and let's look into credentials and lockers. So I am in the control room of Automation Anywhere A2019. Now to work on credentials and lockers, we'll move to bots and then we'll go with this credentials tab. And here we have the credentials and lockers section. Now if you are working on the Automation Anywhere A11 version, the credentials and lockers section is exactly similar. So this is the control room of Automation Anywhere A11. And to work on credentials and lockers, we will move to bots and credentials here also. So you see this section, the credentials and lockers section of A11 and A2019 is exactly similar. So let's get started by creating a credential. I'm going to create credentials to log in to the email account. So to create credential, we'll move over here. Click on this plus sign to create credential. So click over here. And we are in the create credential page and let's give the credential name over here. So let's give the credential name as email credentials. And we can put a description over here as well. This is a email credential. And if you scroll a bit down, this is the attribute section. So to log into the email account, there are two attributes that is email ID and password. So we are going to create two attributes over here, email ID and password. So first let's create the attribute, provide the attribute name as email ID. And in the input section, we need to provide the value of the email ID. So here in the input section, we have two options. First one is standard. So under the standard, we need to provide the value of the email ID. So let's provide the value of email ID over here. So I have provided my email ID over here. Now, if you look into the next option under input, that is user provided. So what is this user provided? Here you see we don't need to provide any value. Why? Because if user provided option is selected, then the value is provided over the email when a credential is added to the locker. And we will see this adding credential to locker in few minutes. As of now, let's move with the standard option. Let's provide the value over here again. So email ID value is provided. Now I'm going to create another attribute. Let's click on plus and I'm going to create an attribute for password. So let's give the attribute name as password and under the input section will provide the password value. So let's select the option as standard. Now, if you don't wish the password to be visible, we'll check this marked option and let's provide the password value over here. So you see, since we have checked this box, checks this marks option, that's why the value of the password is not visible. So we created two attributes that is email ID and password under the credentials. So now we'll click on this create credential. So let's click on this create credential and you see the credential that is email credential got created. Now this credential doesn't work on its own. To use this email credential which we have created, it must be put inside a locker. So for that we need to create a locker as well. So how to do that? Let me show you. We'll move to lockers and again we'll click on this plus symbol to create a locker. And here let's provide the details under this locker section. So the first we need to give the locker names. 
so let's keep the name of the locker as email locker and the description as this is email locker and now we need to add the email credential which we have just created inside this email locker so how to do that here you can see there are available credentials so this is the email credential which we have created so we'll check this box and we'll click on this arrow so you see email credential got selected now we'll click on this next button so here you see in the left side these all are the list of roles and permissions under the locker management for example let's say the first role is for the owner so the user which have the owner role can add and remove other owners now since we are in the community edition we don't have the permission to edit user for the roles you see we won't be able to select anything from here we don't have the permission so we will go with this default option let's click on next and this is the next role that is the manager role and the locker managers have all the permissions that owners do except that they cannot add another owners or managers again we don't have the permission to edit this role as well so let's click on next next role is for the participants and the participants will be able to add their own credentials to this locker so we don't have the permission to edit this role as well so we'll click on next and in the community edition we have the option to edit this role so you see under the available roles we have the ce user that is community edition user so let's check check this box and let's click on this arrow so you see this community edition user got selected and the consumers have two additional permissions to input their information in user provided credentials and consumers will be able to use credentials in this locker when running a bot so this is what we expect we want to use credentials while running the bot so this consumer role is good for us now if you scroll up you see this create locker option got enabled so click on this create locker so you see this email locker got created where we have added our credential that is email credential now let's use this credential and locker in our bot so we'll move to bot and i'm going to open an already existing bot so we can search our bot by typing the name over here so this is the bot which i'm going to use in the today's session so this is the bot which we have created in the email automation session to loop through all the unread emails and display the email subject inside the message box so what i'm going to do in our first command that is the email command so here you see we have provided the username and password to log in inside the email with the help of the variables that is username and password so now i'm going to remove this one i will remove this username and password variable and i'm going to use credentials today so for that we'll move to credentials click on this pick and now you see it's asking for a locker as we learned we cannot use credential by its own for using credential we need to use locker as well so first of all we'll will select a locker so click on this drop down and this is the email locker which we have created and under this email locker we have added a credential as well so let's select this drop down and this is the email credential which we have added inside the email locker now we need to select the attribute so under this email credential we have created two attributes that is the email id and password so first of all we'll select this email id attribute for the username let's click on confirm so the credential got added in this format and the same thing will do for the password as well let's select the credential click on plus and then we'll choose a locker from here this is the email locker then we will choose the credential as email credential and the attribute i am going to select as the password so let's click on confirm and let's click on apply 
so what this bot is going to do it's going to make a connection with the email server this is my email account on which it's going to log in and then it's going through loop loop through all the unread emails and display the message email subject inside the message box so as of now in my email account i have two unread emails so the bot is going to display the subjects of these two emails so i'm going to save this one and i will quickly run this bot to see how it works and my bot is running now it's making a connection to email server and and the bot is able to log into the email account with the credentials which we have provided it read the unread email and displayed its subject as 500 units required for supply let's close this one and again it displayed the subject of another unread email that is 100 units required for supply so let's close this one as well and let's close this as well so in this way you can use credentials and lockers in your project as well to protect the sensitive data and that's all for this session guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends and hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos and i will see you soon in the next one bye bye